In this video, I'm going to be talking about the state of Juice World's next album, The Party Never Ends, that was actually postponed, why it may have been postponed, and some of the potential deadlines that we could actually end up having the album by. First of all, I'm going to go over why it was postponed in the first place. Bibby, who actually owns one of the labels that Juice World is signed to, announced that he would be releasing a single on September 17th, but this single never ended up coming when the date came by. And weeks after, they didn't really have an explanation for what had happened, and there was no album to be seen either. It is worth mentioning that this album was already delayed once, so what would have led to it being postponed this time? The answer is kind of obvious. Juice World's two labels are Grade A Productions, which is the one that Bibby owns, and Interscope Records, who work in collaboration with Universal Music Group. Just to start, we need to explain a few things. For one, Bibby is not in complete control over Juice World's music because Interscope Records definitely also has a say. Number two, there was an HBO documentary set to go in 2022 in the early stages somewhere between January and March, but that ended up being announced that it would be done way sooner, which Bibby was not expecting. That came out of absolutely nowhere. So what ended up happening is it was kind of this weird decision where Bibby kind of prematurely announced his music, which I don't blame him out of all the excitement and getting the fans into it. It makes sense. Juice World's album was supposed to come out in three separate parts. What this means is that the HBO documentary I was talking about wasn't meant to hype up the first part of the album, most likely the second part at best. So when the documentary was announced that it could come out way earlier, Interscope was probably looking at Bibby like, you're obviously going to use this to hype up the album, right? Because it just makes the most sense. Think about it. When that documentary comes out, everybody's going to have their attention drawn to Juice World. And if there's no music to go with it, it's all drawn to him and just kind of thrown away. That's absolutely free marketing. That's building up a lot of hype. And why would you not take advantage of that? Even if Bibby wanted to stick to his deadline that he originally said, even though obviously the situation changed, Interscope has to be looking at him and understanding that that is the worst possible business decision to make. With that being said, even though the album is certainly delayed, it seems like it will only be delayed until probably around December. I think what's going to end up happening is that they're going to be using Juice World's death and the attention that that gets because whether or not you like it, it's good business, you just get free marketing just for dropping anywhere around that time. They're going to probably drop a documentary somewhere around or just before his death and the music will either come on the same day as his death or a little bit after depending on when the documentary drops. So what I'm saying is we can expect about all of this to be released by January of next year. With that being said, we already did find out a few things about the album through all of this. We obviously know it's supposed to come out in three different parts and we're going to be receiving the first one only in December. This is just to secure more streams. They did the same thing with Kid Leroy, but we can only hope it isn't as ridiculous as his because they ended up dropping six new songs with like 14 old ones and it got really annoying by the end of it. Also, Ali Lottie is not going to be involved in picking the tracklist sequencing. I don't think this means she can't pick the songs that go on there, but just the order they're in, so it's not that big of a deal. But if it did mean for whatever reason that she can't pick the tracks, I think that's a little bit ridiculous. One more thing is that we did find out both Lil Uzi and Travis Scott will be featured on the album. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe.